एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम The general query of the students uh, related to engineering drawing is what kind of drawing is being uh, handed over to the worker or the manufacturer in order to produce the items whether it is an orthographic uh, projection or an isometric projection. So major confusion is there. So by the end of the video you would be able to clear your confusion. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am uh, Anmol Bhatia, and today I'll be covering the topic conversion of orthographic views into isometric views. If you want to learn the concepts in detail, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So let us start with the video. This is uh, lecture number fourteen, first part of the series of the course Engineering Graphics and Drawing. and here uh, we will be learning the concept of how to convert orthographic projections into the isometric view or conversion of i orthographic view into an isometric view here we are covering uh, module number 5 and this is the second last topic of the same which is conversion of orthographic views into isometric views so we will understand this topic by considering an example so let us have a look at the example the example says that you have a square plate which is pierced through centrally by a cylinder which comes out equally from both the faces of the plate that means what is the case let's say i have a plate let's say this is the plate i have and in that plate i'll uh, have a cylinder so cylinder is piercing that plate and the cylinder is coming out from both the uh, parts uh, which comes out equally from both the faces let's say this is uh, the case in which there is a square plate and the cylinder is coming out from that square plate in this direction and also in the bottom direction so the cylinder is coming out in both the directions and you are given with the orthographic view of the same so let us have at the have a look at the view which is being given to you so you are given with the front view and and you are given with the top view of the same in which it shows or if i look at the top view what do i have i have a square plate which is of the size 50 by 50 so the square plate is of the size 50 by 50 and inside there is a circle of diameter 30 so there is a circle which is centrally placed inside the square plate and i am looking at the same from the top so i'll get the square plate and i'll get the circle now if i look at the uh, same uh, part from the front i'll get a uh, A rectangle, or I'll have a rectangle which depicts this circle. So therefore, it is a cylinder. So you have a square and you have a circle. So you have a rectangle in the front view and you have a square in the top view that depicts it is a cylinder. And these edges indicates the depth of the square plate that you already have. So what is there in this case? You have a square plate and the cylinder is piercing the square plate. now what is uh, required in the question the question says that you need to draw the isometric view of the same figure which is being shown here so what is the procedure to obtain that similar concept of the isometric view that we have covered so far in this you have to draw a straight line and from that straight line you have to draw two lines which are majorly inclined at an angle of 30 degree and this you can see that i have used very light lines to indicate these uh, parts now what i want i want these 50 mm uh, square part to be placed here so this 50 mm square box i want to be placed on this surface so for that i'll just 
take the distance as 50 mm on this edge and also on the other edge and I will take the height as 10 mm because it is mentioned that the height of this square box is 10 mm as far as the front view is concerned. So we have this height which is 10 mm and we will join all the uh, vertices together so that it becomes a square plate okay now what i want in inside this or inside the central region i need to place a circle and if i place a circle inside this box what do i get i'll get an iso circle right and the procedure to uh, make that iso circle is already explained to you in the uh, previous lectures now in this what do i do i can take a gap of some distance which is this is let's say 50 and the central part is 30 so this initial diameter you have as 30 so 50 minus 30 10 on this side 10 on this side that will give you 20 remaining so keeping a gap of 10 on all the sides we can draw this box parallel to the surfaces that we have already uh, prepared now in the center i need to uh, have these lines just to indicate that central region and inside that box i need to place the iso circle with the same procedure that we have already started so this is inside part now what i want i need to uh, place this cylinder uh, equally from this side above and also from the bottom so for this i need to increase the height of this circle so that it becomes a cylinder so what is the height of cylinder as you can see in the front view the height of the cylinder is 30 mm above and 30 below so here you need to make two lines which are at a distance of 30 mm and these are perpendicular lines apart from that above region would also have a circle and this below region would also have a circle so for that we have to uh, create that box again and place that iso circle again on this surface so what we have to do we have to create that box and inside that box we have to create the iso circle again similar fashion we have to repeat the same or the overall process for the below aspect as well so for the below aspect we have to increase the length to 30 mm so these 30 mm lengths are increased there and below region we also have to create the iso circle so here this iso circle is created now what happens here some of the edges would be hidden so in order to indicate those hidden edges what to do i just need to rub this or i can make it hidden with the help of the dotted lines so this can be removed or this can be made hidden and this part also can be removed or erased with the help of the eraser right so this comes to the actual picture of the isometric 3d 3d view of the orthographic view which is given to you in the question so the question is like you have been given the front and the top view of the object and you need to convert this into a three-dimensional view so this is the procedure on how to convert that orthographic view into a three-dimensional view so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video in which we learned the concept of how to convert orthographic view into the isometric view and specifically we have taken an example from the book in the second part we would consider another example that the students find difficult uh, and we will be learning that example in the next part of the same lecture if you want to understand the concepts deeply you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so stay tuned for the second part of the video if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you
All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.